excuse the way I look. I just woke up. It's like, I don't know, seven something in the morning. Um, got magic eyebrow shit. Like I told you videos and videos and videos ago, these eyebrows don't come off. The rest of my makeup is off, but whatever. The reason for this video today is I'm going to do a comparison of uh, hair bleach. This is what I'm going to try today. Um, usually I use Schwarzkopf Nordic Blonde. I've always used that ever since I first started bleaching my hair. It came, it was recommended to me and it was sent to me. I've, I've got a blanket around me because I don't have, I don't have many clothes here and I don't want the bleach and the dye to get on my clothes so I usually wrap a blanket or a towel around me or if nobody's here then I just do it without a, a top on so if you're wondering why I'm not dressed that's why but you cannot find Schwarzkopf um, hardly anything here and it's been a struggle to try to find the Nordic Blonde online for a good price and have it sent here and I scoured the shelves at Walmart and this is what I found that looks almost identical and I've been scared to try anything else because the Nordic Blonde works so well but I figured if I can find something here this is eight dollars it's way cheaper than spending twenty thirty dollars and and having a scent and having to wait and wait and wait so I'm really desperate to redye my hair because as you can see my roots are out pretty bad um, what I wanted to do because this is the turquoise uh, this is a uh, stargazer tropical green and it comes out like a turquoise it's a really nice color but I kind of wanted it more green green I had ordered some on eBay and some from the store I used to get it from in New Zealand and the ones that came from eBay were like a true forest green and when I used that is when I realized I prefer that color to the turquoise color but I could never find that exact color again and Josh's favorite color is blue and he wants to see me with blue hair so I actually want to do all my hair but I don't think this box is enough so I have my hair divided this is the black side and this is the the blue side and so yeah as you can see my roots are doing pretty bad this is about a month's worth um, and so I'm gonna see how this goes I wasn't gonna make a video about this but then I thought it would be a good idea for any of you that might want to know if it works so this is a box like I said it looks identical to the Nordic Blonde as far as what it says as well it says this lightens up to seven levels and um, this is called Feria Absolute Platinum inside you've got your um, anti-brass conditioner you've got your developer you've got your powder lightener exactly as the Nordic Blonde um, this is the uh, lightning cream and uh, there's a little lid so you can take that off shake it up and then put this spout back on and then um, you've got your instructions of course with um, a really nice pair of black gloves in here I really like the gloves and this one these are all professional looking gloves uh, so you've got these so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to stick this on my head. I would hope that it would do my whole head, but I really don't think it will. So I'm going to mix up half of my head and I'll see how far it goes. I'll check in periodically and see how well it's lightening and um, then I'll be dyeing it. See you guys in a few minutes. All right. First impressions. I'm not really impressed. The smell is really good. It smells good. It doesn't smell really chemically or strong like you're gonna choke on bleach fumes like um, Nordic Blonde does but that also makes me wary of the lightning power and it looks like I'm right so I decided to go ahead and stick it on my black side because the true test is if it will die over black because the Schwarzkopf the Nordic Blonde got rid of black dye that had been dyed and redyed and redyed and even fresh this isn't touching my black. The formula is really thick and gunky, but it's not touching my black, my roots, none of it. Um, it is kind of turquoising and lightening this side though, so at least there's that. I figured, well, I have a black, an extra black dye here, so if this ends up being a ruined mess, if it even does anything, 
I'll just redo it black. I had wanted to do my whole head blue, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Hopefully, if this isn't going to work on the black side, hopefully it'll just stay looking like exactly like it did. And then when the boxes that I'd ordered, you know, last month come in of the Nordic Blonde, I can just get rid of the black then and not have to die over it, to which it would be harder to get rid of it. Either I want it gone or I want it to look the same, but kind of like a half and half won't be good. Um, but yeah, so this is starting to lighten. It's definitely not whitening. By now, I mean, by the time I, I had finished putting the formula on my whole head, my roots were like white with the Nordic Blonde. It's not happening like that with this. Yeah, like I said, it's it's incredibly thick. Like, it's just real, real thick. It's like glue almost. See? <laughs> Woo, look at that. But um, it doesn't seem to be working all too well. You have to leave this stuff on up to an hour. So I have quite a ways to wait. I'll check back in. If I see any difference, I'll check in. If I don't, then I'll just see you at the end when I'm washing it out. So fingers crossed that this stuff actually works. Like, please, please, please work. Because this is such a cheap option. And it smells so much better. And uh, I actually dropped it because what I do is um, I never use the nozzle. I pour it here and I just kind of I start here and I go down my hairline and then I, because I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't need to kind of separate and put it. I just clump it on. And um, when I did that, I actually dropped it down my face and it went right here, missed my eye, went all the way down my cheek and all the way down here in my mouth, down my chest. Ugh. Oh, that's where my dermal was. I ripped out. I was like, what the hell? down my chest, down my clothes, and onto the floor so um, it's not burning my face. It itches a little bit. But for the most part, it just feels like I've put a bunch of glue on my head. So I'll see what happens. I'll check back with you guys in a little bit, and oh, I hope it works. All right, I still have about half an hour to go. It is definitely lightening this side. This side is like a sky blue color now. I can see my roots lightening just a little bit. And it looks like it's lightening my roots just a little bit over here as well. It's not really doing anything down here from what I can see. I know I probably shouldn't be touching it, but I'll go wash my hands in a second. But I don't see anything down there. I do see it up here. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's other things I can do to maybe make it work better, or put a cap on it or a bag or heat it up, but... It doesn't say that in the instructions, and I've got so little hair. <laughs> I don't really want to do anything that might fuck up my, you know, my hair too much. So I just kind of follow the instructions and just leave it as is. But um, this side will definitely be able to be washed out and done blue. And this side is kind of a loss. I'm thinking of asking Josh to pick me up another box of this and then doing it over one more time before I dye it. That way this is as light as possible, so it's as blue as possible. But then again, that'll make it a pretty nice shade as it is. My roots, on the other hand, if they don't lighten enough in the next half hour, um, that's just not going to look so great. So I'm not quite sure. I'll check back in either in half an hour or after I've rinsed it out, and let's hope that it lightens some more and we can do this thing. I am after a wash, fresh and clean. My eyebrows are tattooed on, so I finally got that to come off, so don't judge. Um, as you can see, kind of a fail. Um, it did try to lighten. It did an okay job. If I didn't have black in my hair, it would have been sufficient because it did get my roots. It did... Um, bleach my roots which is what I really need it for I'm just trying to remove the black as well because I want my whole head to be blue but um, I, as it is it'll be different shades of blue because this is this isn't gonna come off and this is when it bleaches out it'll just be like this color here so it'll be two different tones anyway but um, there's still some dark patches that's a tattoo but for the most part it did all right. I guess in a pinch, it'll work. Um, this is like a really interesting kind of sea blue color at the moment. Um, and here, you can't see it as well because it's um, on camera, but this, my hair has tried to go to like a brown color. So this is kind of like brown. Whoa. Yeah, this is kind of brown. And... Um, 
My hair's still wet and I've got gunk in it, by the way. But uh, it's brown and then it's red up here. So I'd need another box just for this side. I think to try to lighten this, since it did move, it did lighten, just not the way I wanted it to. I will try to get some more today and do another couple of lightens on this side. My hair doesn't feel like it felt with the um, the Nordic Blonde because it's not as strong. So it doesn't feel as damaged. It didn't burn my scalp or anything like that, but it also didn't work as well. So I will see about putting on a hood, <laughs> hiding my hair, and seeing if the supermarket here has the proper stuff and because uh, I got this from Walmart and if they have it I'll pick it up I'll use one box on this side of my head see if I can lighten this up some more if I can't I'll just do it black again if I can I'll be able to put blue on it so I will check back after I wash the rinse you don't need to see it on my head again so after I rinse it off the next time I will update with what's happening all right so me and Josh <laughs> went to the store and we got some bleach and instead of getting the kind that I just had that wasn't really working I decided to try two other ones so I got this and have not put it on yet I'm not gonna need to put it on after bringing it home I looked it up online and it got really shitty reviews like one star out of fucking five or something it was really bad so I'm gonna see if I can actually return this I won't know how good it is but I don't think it's very good at all if I can't return it I'll just keep it for touch-ups this though I found this is the same brand that does Nordic Blonde I'm pretty sure this is actually the same formula because it smells the same and it feels the same and the lightning the light lightning I was right lightning power is the same this is the 15.0 extreme lightener color ultimate ultimate iconic blondes and uh, yeah this is what I'm gonna be buying from now on and it worked exactly the same as the Nordic Blonde as soon as I put it on look it's it's lighting me to almost white blonde here and it is going this way and stripping out this I know this isn't gonna fade if I had another two or three rounds it would but I'm not doing that to my hair and this side that was just brown it's already blonde up here and it's taken away, it's taking away the black dye. Like, as we were in the bathroom, we could like see the dye kind of like fading away. And this is black, permanent black hair dye. And it's just kind of taking it off. I've had this on for maybe five minutes, ten minutes, five or ten minutes. Maybe not even that long. You're supposed to leave it on for 45 minutes. Yeah, probably about five minutes. And this is how it should have been. So in the light... You can see how light that is. And this is through permanent black hair dye. And it is just stripping the dye right off. And I'm pretty sure most of this will be gone by the time the 45 minutes is up. And this side, you know, I don't know what the hell that is. If I missed a little bit or not. Um, I know it's probably patchy, but I don't have a brush or anything. I think I probably missed a little bit. I'll go scrape some out of the container, but for the most part it's going to bleach really well and I'm really happy because now I can just go to the store and buy this for, what was this, like 10 bucks, 11 bucks? Yeah. Something like that. 10 or 11 dollars as opposed to spending like 20 dollars, 30 dollars online and having to wait for it to come in and Sometimes it's out of stock or whatnot, but this this is really good. So after I wash it off Depending on how it looks I might update it again if it doesn't look so great I'll wait until I dye it. I did get a blue dye turquoise blue dye that I've never tried before because I don't actually have enough Blue blue dye to do my whole head. I only bought one bottle because I was gonna do half and half still I didn't even really think that through and uh, if I can managed to fit that on my head. It's a brand I've never seen, never tried. It didn't get great reviews, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But um, if I have to, I'll top it up with my good stuff. Look, it's a couple of boxes of these spread out over time. I could, pro I could be that blonde color I wanted to be that I had oh, online. That would be so awesome, but I don't want to put my hair through that and then the upkeep and all that. I'm lazy, so... 
I'm going to go try to get rid of the spot. And then I'll update it when the time is done. Say bye. Oh, bye. you're so pretty. Mm. Right, this is after I rinsed it off after it stayed for 45 minutes. And this side, most of the black dye has come off. This is about what I'm usually left with. My hair's still damp because I'm going to go and dye it now. But, um,. It's just like this muddy brown color with really, really, really light roots, almost white. On this side, it's turned into like a gray color um, with like almost white, pretty much white roots. Um, if I were to work at this and work at it, I could get my hair really light if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. I've already said that. My hair looks like ramen noodles right now. But uh, I was going to bleach it one more time, just the ends, to kind of try to lighten this up so that my hair dye will look more uniform. But I noticed uh, in the shower my hair is doing this, and there's like a little piece of hair there. It's just breaking off, and uh, the bathtub was full of it. So I, I do have a little bit of damage. It, the first bleach sucked. I wish I had known better and gotten this, and I would have just done this, and it would have... It would have done this anyway, but I had to do it twice. It's never a good idea to do it more than once in one day or one week, even not until you do it, you heal your hair, then you do it, you heal your hair. And this is how I lost all my hair last time. But um, I'm going to go and sleep in my dye, let it just kind of dry in there and try to mix it up and see what I can do. And then I will check back after I do that, which will be sometime tomorrow in the daylight. Look at that. The hair is just snapping off. That is so scary. Thank God I don't have long hair anymore though. Alright, here's day two. I just woke up so I'm like, ooh, I'm so tired. Um, Dutch is over there munching on a bone. But, um, let me set this up a little bit. This is what my hair looks like. This is what my hair looks like the next day. So as you can see, uh, it's all kinds of different shades. I haven't combed it, I got like bedhead and stuff, but um, I put like a blue blue around my face and this is the turquoise color I had and then I kind of mixed it in. And uh, so this is uh, the blue blue. This is the part that was still kind of brownish and it came out like a muddy turquoise color. And this is just like a turquoise color. But the vibrant blue at least is at the front and that's what I wanted. And eventually, like when I bleach it next time, um, when I go to do my roots and stuff again, the whole thing will be evenly one color, so it does feel pretty good to have the blue back again. I need to like trim it and make it even or, you know, comb it and make it even or whatnot because it's, it's not really even. I, I do have bedhead. It was really wet when I went to sleep, so it's kind of fucked. I, I just wanted to show you guys the color, but um, I've got dye on my face too, but uh, I am happy with it. I... I like the vibrancy of the blue, and the blue stays so much. Uh, I like green, green, green the best, like tree green, forest green, but it's really hard to find that color. I don't really like the turquoise as such, um, but it was I had bought like six boxes before I left New Zealand, so I used them up, and now that was my last box, and so I asked Josh if he wanted me to keep doing that, if he wanted me to go blue, and he wanted me to go blue, so there you have it.